Hello and welcome to another ADAS calibration video. Today we'll be working on a 2021 Honda Clarity fuel cell vehicle and we'll be calibrating the Honda Lane Watch camera which is located here on the passenger side mirror. We'll be using our LAC 0417 uh, Lane Watch target and we'll be using the 801 uh, Smart Link tablet to perform the calibration function. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start by placing the VCI into the OBD2 port of the vehicle and then keying on to position two. Next, we'll press the, press the ADAS calibration button. We'll choose other calibration, lane watch, And we'll start by determining the center line of the vehicle. So we'll have to plumb our point A and point B. So let me get started with that now. At the front of the vehicle, we'll determine our point A. We'll take our plumb bomb and get it centered to the logo here, or the emblem. And then we'll go ahead and select our reflector here. And now we'll move to the rear of the vehicle. At the rear of the vehicle, we'll go ahead and plumb bomb for our point B. And then we'll go ahead and place the five line laser and align it to where we see the vertical line on the reflector. We'll then press the V button again, and this gives us our center line for the back of the vehicle here that we will use to align our target with. Next, we need to determine the length at which we'll place the target. And for this particular setup, we're gonna be measuring it from the front uh, wheel center hub. So I'm gonna start here, and I'm just gonna take a measurement. I'm gonna come out to about 16 inches, and we'll place our first target here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same at the rear wheel, just so that we keep it nice and perpendicular to the vehicle. And then we'll measure from here. And this will be my marker for my 4,500 millimeters. So we'll place that there. Okay. Using our center point line defined by the laser here, I'm gonna go ahead and just place this target right on along the line. And then I'm gonna measure out to 1300 millimeters. So this is where we'll place the target at 1300 millimeters from center and 4500 millimeters back from the front wheel hub. And we'll go ahead and place the target right at that mark and it's going to be at the very edge of the target itself not the base of the stand you want to make sure that the stand is also level so there's level indicators on the bottom there uh, we are correct so we'll go ahead and leave that alone so we are ready to calibrate so we're gonna to move to the inside of the vehicle. Uh, one more point that I forgot to make when I was outside, but uh, make sure that the height of your target is set to 50 millimeters. And basically that's gonna have the target right at the bottom of the base. So we'll go ahead and move forward from here. So we'll hit okay. 
Now we need to place the vehicle in calibration mode. So with the ignition key on, we're going to go ahead and hold down three buttons on the touchpad here. And it's going to be the audio, the menu, and the uh, screen brightness. And that will place it into a calibration mode. And we're going to want to select detailed information and setting. Then we'll click on functional setup, lane watch. And there'll be two steps here. One, we're going to press the aiming start button and then also activating the switch on the turn signal stock for uh, the cam um, for the lane watch camera. So I'll click aiming start press on the lane watch button and now it's going through its calibration step. And it looks like we have a successful calibration. So thank you for watching and we'll see you at the next video.